In this uh, video, we're going to answer the question, uh, when is a relation not a function? So recall that, recall our definition. So a function assigns each input a unique output. And this is the key, so a unique output. So basically, a, a relation won't be a function um, when, e when the input is not assigned a unique output. So what does that mean? It would be it's assigned more than one output. So if an input is um, or if an input, if an input has more than one output, then the relation is not a function. So what will that look like? Well, let's look at a few examples. Um, so let's start with a mapping diagram, because that was the first type of function we looked at. So let's look at a non-function as a mapping diagram. So it'll start off similar. And we'll have some values in our domain. So let's say negative 1, 2, and 3, and then some values in our range, so 4, 10, 12, doesn't really matter the numbers are. And now each input is going to be just uh, assigned an output, but at least one of these inputs will have two outputs. Okay, so here's, here's my rule uh, for assigning values from our domain A to values in our range B. But notice this is not a function because one of the values has more than one input. So which be a good sort of test for yourself, um, which input has more than one output? And the answer to that question would be 2, right? 2 is assigned two different outputs, right? 2 goes to 4, but it also goes to 10. And that's not allowed as a function, right? Um, so sort of one of the problems is, if I was to ask you, what is f at 2? And there's sort of two answers, right? f at 2 would be 4, and f at 2 would be 10. But really, if there's two answers, then there's no answers because you, you can't use this notation for not a function, right? So, you know, you might want to write f at 2 equals 4 and f at 2 equals 10, but if, if you can write f at 2 equals two different things, then you can't write it at all, really, right? So don't never write this because it's not really um, a function. So therefore, this is not a function because uh, two has two different outputs. So if you ever have one of the numbers in your domain has two arrows come going out of it, basically that tells you not a function. So that's how you're going to rec recognize a non-function uh, in a mapping diagram. Uh, you could also do this with a table of values. We could do this. Ah, let's do a different one. So let's uh, let's take some numbers here. One, two, three. Five, seven, eight, ten. 
So why is this one not a function? Well, again, well, it's the same number, right? 2 goes to 7, and 2 also goes to 8. Right? So 2 has two outputs. Right? One output is 7, and the other one is 8. Therefore, not a function. Um, if you if you wrote this as as a set of ordered pairs, you'd have the set one five two seven two eight three ten. Right, and again, not a function because this input two has two different outputs, so it's the same relation as here. So these things are not functions. Right? This is not a function. This is not a function. It is a relation. So there's a relationship between x and y, which assigns numbers in x to numbers in y, but it doesn't count as a function because the function has a special requirement that um, each x can only have one y. So it doesn't satisfy our conditions of of uh, being a function. How about with a graph? So sometimes, I don't know if it's trickier, or, but sometimes it's harder to tell. It's not harder to tell, but you have to know how to recognize when you don't have a function with a graph. So let's go with uh, this example. So here we've got, uh, it's, it looks like a parabola, right? It's a parabola, but it's on its side. It's a parabola opening sort of sideways. We know that a parabola is a function when it opens up or down. We've seen those examples. Um, but the question is, is this a function? And simple answer to that question is, um, well, if you ask yourself this, what is f at 0? So if x is 0, oh, this is x, this is f at x, is there a unique value? So x equals 0 is here. 0 is right here. Well, the curve actually is two values for x equals 0. One's here, that's the point 0, 2, that's on the curve, but also the point 0, negative 2 down here is on the point. So f at 0 equals 2, and f at 0 equals negative 2. That's no good, right? If you can write two different values for f at 0, then you really can't write any because this notation doesn't even make sense for not a function. So therefore, this is not a function. because 0 has two outputs. Right? One of those outputs, one of those outputs was 2, and one of them was negative 2. Um, and 0 wasn't the only problem, right? There was, there was, you know, whatever this number is here, it has two outputs, one up here, one down here, whatever this one is here. It's got, so there's lots that have two. Um, Sort of a good way of figuring out if a from a graph if a function if a relation is not a function it's what we call the uh, vertical line test. So basically, what the vertical line test says is if you could draw a vertical line through any point of your graph and it intersected it at more than one location, so here and here, then it's not a function. The reason being, this x value will have an f at x value up here and an f at x value down here. So if you could intersect it twice, that means your x value has two outputs, right? Those two intersection points. And in this case, you could do it more than twice, right? You could draw a vertical line through just about anywhere, except maybe this one point over here. But anywhere else, you could draw a vertical line and you would hit two points. So just to write that down, the vertical line test.
So the vertical line test tells us that a curve in the xy plane, so basically a graph, um, is the graph of a function. if and only if uh, there is no vertical line there is no uh, that intersects more than once. Okay. So this one up here, because I could draw a vertical line that intersected at two points, not a function. Okay. So, you know, a regular parabola draw a parabola, like, or not regular, but parabola opening up, right? there's no, any vertical line I draw is just going to hit the curve one time, right? one time. So this one is a function, this one passes the vertical line test. We're good. Um, you know, that, that example that we saw above, how about another one, how about a circle? So a circle, there's a there's a graph, or there's a curve in the xy plane. Um, but if I drew a vertical line right here, I hit the circle two times. So therefore, not a function because. It fails vertical line test. And sort of the reason is whatever this x value is here, right? Whatever the x value is down here, it has two different outputs. I don't know what these numbers are. There's no scale, but sort of there's there's two points with the same x value, which is not allowed for a function.